All, all right, guys. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, follow the links to the social media are in the description. So this is my Indiana Hoosiers at Ohio State Buckeyes preview. It's the showdown in the shoe. It's the biggest matchup of the year for both teams. And I'm excited to just get into it, man, as a Buckeye fan. It's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a fun two weeks of Ohio State football, man. So I'll have a preview out for each of these games. Obviously, they're the... You know, the big, the two most important, obviously, heading down into the stretch against Indiana and then obviously against Michigan next week. So, let's let's look at us, man, first. So, we're 9-1. and one. We're second in the uh, in terms of, like, the scoring margins, the dominant, you know, FBS scoring margin, pretty much. Um, you know, we're top 10 in pretty much, like, excess rate, EPA per play, and red zone efficiency. So, that just shows, like, our offense is moving the ball much better under Will Howard. You know, and then it did, of course, under Kyle McCord and, you know, previous years. But our defense is outstanding this year. They're ranked number one nationally. And like I said, Will Howard is completing damn near over 70% of his passes in over the last, like, three games. So this dude is all world so far. Um, and he's going to have to have a great game against, you know, an Indiana team that's really hungry, obviously. And they're looking to obviously spoil our season. Because, again, with two losses, it's going to be very difficult for Ohio State to get in, man. Uh, because I, I gotta tell you, like, the, the reason I'm nervous for this game is not because, you know, how good Indiana is and all, because they haven't played a top 10 team yet, I still, I think we could definitely, you know, beat them, and I think that we will beat them, but the problem I have is that sometimes we just tend to play down, and like, you know, we do that, I'm not saying, I'm not, I don't want to take anything away from Nebraska, but Nebraska, I feel like we could have opened the margin further, um, you know, games like that, that's just, that's what really kind of, um, has me a little bit nervous you know, for this game, but let's look at our opponent, man, so under Kirk Signetti, they're 10-0, and 0, and uh, they're having, you know, their OC, this, their OCR is 55.5%, second most in college football, and they're a top 15 offense and defense, so they're a very well-rounded team, and, uh, you know, they seem like they, obviously, they want to come in and, you know, show us, like, the you know, who, <laughs> that they belong above us, but, you know, I think that this is an opportunity for, you know, Ohio State to really just say, like, hey, no, I mean, we're going to, we're not in our house, you know? I mean, that's the message you got to send. I mean, I'm not saying beat them by, like, 30 because I'm telling you right now, this game is probably going to be 10 points or less in terms of, like, margin. So all I want is the Buckeyes to just go out there and just get a win. However you do it, it don't matter to me, man. I say the same thing about the Bengals, the Reds, the Cavs. It don't matter how you do it. Just get it done, man. So, I mean, it helps, obviously, to win by a bigger margin, but... It's okay, man. At this point, you know, the next two weeks, you just take the wins out. You can get them. So that's that's my thoughts on Indiana as far as right now, man. They're, you know, a very well-rounded team, and they seem to really have it going under their new head coach. So coming into this, man, here's what I'm going to say. Our explosive running backs, Travion Henderson, uh, for example, I mean, obviously, you know, he's he's got 10-plus yards on 27% of his carries. That's just – that's ridiculous. That's crazy. And, you know, the fo the fewest deep passes allowed, I mean, that's that's our one of our other strengths, too. I mean, I saw, like, the stats. You know, that's, again, that's a big strength for this defense as well. So, they're ranked number one. It feels great to say. But our weakness, unfortunately, is their blitz sack rate. I guess in NFL, you want to call it pass rush win rate or whatever they call it. I have no idea. But they need to work on that. You know, Indiana's going to want to get hot, and they're going to try to test our D-line. You know, they're going to put probably maybe some empty sets and everything. That's my prediction, because Indiana's a very, very good team, man. So, you know, yeah, they haven't played a top-10 team yet. This is going to be our second top-10 team, you know, or Oregon, or I guess third top-10 team, because Oregon and uh, and Penn State, obviously. So, you know, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, but, you know, hopefully if just we come out hot, I think that we can get it done. Um, so, you know, my keys to the victory, got to protect Will Howard, you know, our, our blood pressure has got to be better. They've, we, we've got to be able to handle, you know, the Indiana Blitz because, I, like I said, they're, they're not – it's not it's not going well for our def or our offensive line in terms of blitz pressure. So we got to do that. Our red zone dominance, we got to keep on scoring. We got to convert, you know, instead of these red zone, like, issues that we've had um, or, I guess, lack of issues that we've had, we got to just keep it going, man. We got to score. We got to just limit the explosiveness. You just suppress some deep plays, stay disciplined, stay, like – Avoid the penalties because that's, you could call it some, you know, let's say against Nebraska, for example. You know, there were some penalties in there where you could argue like those weren't calls. But, you know, keep feeding Travion Henderson as well and just control the clock, man. Extender, you know, just keep the offense on the field because Indiana's defense is going to get tired and therefore, 
you know, their offense may not be, see the field for a while. So those are my keys to victory for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, sorry about my voice a little bit. I'm a little bit, like, raspy still, uh, still recovering. But, yeah, those are my keys for Ohio State to win. It's going to be a great game, though. Go Bucks as always. And let's just freaking get a win and prove to 10-0, or 10-1, rather, and make their 10-0 record go to 10-1 as well. But let's go, Bucks, man. Y'all have a great day. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Go Bucks.